It is another episode of the Art Bros. Art Bros. Let me pull up this piece over here. Okay. I saw the figure five in gold. In gold. That's a 1928. Thing. Charles DeMuth. Born in American Lancaster, Pennsylvania. <laughs> and died in... Lancaster. Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania. <laughs> 1883 <laughs> to 1935. Not, not not too old. Died from diabetes. Did he know? Yeah. Oh. That's sad. All right. Well. I hope that's not me. <laughs> <laughs> So, um, what do we got here? I've actually never seen this piece before, even though apparently it's a famous piece. And it's in that. As an art historian, mm -hmm. or amateur art historian, I'm ashamed of myself. Uh, but I know it now, and next time we go to the Met, I'll be looking out for it. It's in that weird floor that's like in between two floors. Ah. It's like near the more modern pieces, but like that staircase all the way at the end where you mm -hmm. have to go down the floor right it's really like half a floor in right yeah it's there the one with the portrait of uh, Kim Jong and um, all that the, room but all the if Chuck you go Close. down at the end of the hallway there's another set of stairs you okay. go down there oh my god the secret room I and there's that other room in there people that's where you find this thing so we're looking at I saw the figure five in gold mm -hmm. um, was he haunted by figure fives uh, no, but he was inspired by his BFF, uh, William Carlos William. He okay. wrote a poem called The Great Figure about a fire engine that was racing through the city. Interesting. Mm-hmm. So, that's kind of like a companion piece, I guess. Oh. Since they're so tight. All right, well, well, okay, Fancy Dave, what can you tell me about this guy? Uh, well, he kind of started a certain, uh, art style called Precisionism. So he's the father? Yeah, the Pioneer? Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. Yeah, it was like, uh... At the beginning, it was like drawing very sharp lines of like factories and like mills and stuff right. like that, and like very sharp, jangly lines and crap. Nineteen twenty-eight. It was all about industry. Mm -hmm. But this specific type of a painting is called a poster portrait. Poster portrait. Is that because of the materials made to make it? it maybe it was Gold made. Well, this one was done on a. Let me see what's this called. called a paperboard. Paperboard. Upson board, to be specific. We still use that. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Oil, graphite, ink. And gold leaf on paperboard. Mm -hmm. 35 so, inches. No, 35 and a half by 30. It was made to last somewhat. Mm -hmm. I'm sure it takes some sort of... It's still here? Yeah, it's still, well, you know. Yeah. I don't know if paperboard is very archival, though. Uh, they, they got that embalming shit for, for <laughs> arts. There we go. It's 35 by 30, so it's not too big. Yeah. It's not too big. Uh, what else, Fancy Dave? Well, again, uh... It's inspired by that poem, and he kind of wanted to take his kind of spin on it. Mm -hmm. I like it because it's, uh, I guess it's kind of, I don't know, it's avant-garde for its time, I guess it, it must have been, right? It is avant-garde. Um, the first thing I noticed about it is that it breaks the 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 rule of composition and design. Mm -hmm. Don't focus... On one thing? On one thing. <laughs> In this case, five. Yeah, and not just that, uh, <laughs> it's centered, mm -hmm. sort of. What is the actual focal point? Is it the big five, or is it the five in the middle? Or is it the tinier five in the middle middle? Oh my god. My, Not really the middle, but it's like going... My mind is... Hey. Well, yeah, it's going in there. Mm -hmm. And it's just... It's it's a repetition. There's variation, and it it, it draws your eye in. Mm -hmm. But like precisionism is uh, inspired by futurism and cubism, which might inspire... Which might explain some of the things there. I definitely see the cubism. Mm -hmm. Look at the lamp. I didn't even realize that we we're actually looking at a street view. And if you look at the red and the five, it's kind of that fire engine from the poem, really. It is, yeah. And, Number five. Yeah, and there's like a city kind of thing in the background, if you... I see it. No, yeah. it's definitely a cubist sort of city. There's a, definitely a, a deconstructed and reconstructed view mm -hmm. of a, a street or some sort. Um, one could actually say this is an abstraction, uh, abstraction of like a fire engine, a in fire the engine going down the street. Yep, like yeah. the poem. Like the, there you go. Is yeah. a BFF route. <laughs> <laughs> so would this be kind of a precursor to abstractionism? Yeah, or maybe it could even be a precursor to pop art, I some would... people consider. I would say it's a precursor to pop art. I could see that. It's mm -hmm. 1928. It's not too far off. It's very graphic in terms of that design. Yeah. In a way. Yeah. So there's that, really. Yeah, no, I do love pieces from this, this time because mm -hmm. they just have that industrialized commercial look mm -hmm. that we kind of, that we haven't seen before. Um, this is when it started popping this up. It blew people's minds back then, boy. Man. <laughs> People's minds were blown back when they saw this, or were they? Or were they scared? Were they just like, "What are you doing here, dude? You're not following any of our rules." Then mm -hmm. again, isn't that art? Well, uh, because of this guy, um, 
Well, because of the more futurism approach and cubism approach of uh, precisionism, his style was considered to be like one of the more truly American art styles. Oh, it's definitely American. Yeah. I it, definitely see it that. Because it broke away from more uh, European influences. Yeah. I, I, I can see that. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know what makes it American, but I can tell. If you showed me this. It's America. It's America. <laughs> numbers, big numbers, big numbers. Mm-hmm. It's, it's, it's America. Um, what else can be said about this piece? Great. Inspired by the poem, right? Yeah. Oh, we got... um. The colors work so well with each other. Mm-hmm. The way the reds just... They... The foreground. Mm-hmm. And the, the back is the the, 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 well, the grays and the whites and well, whatnot. Well, this might be... A- bad way to see it in a way because it's it was gold leaf when i saw it so so you saw this i've seen okay. it okay so okay so it was uh so it's not that it's not a neutralized yellow like you might be like people might see online i see it, it is gold i leaf. see more of um not a neutralized more like a brown yeah i see a more neutralized yellow really would you say like an aged gold when you see it in in real yeah, life yeah an age, an, it's, it's not a very it's not. It's not a gold with a lot of luster. Let's say that. You know, I've seen gold leaf in yeah. in real. You know, in life, real life, and yeah, it loses its luster after a while. So mm-hmm. I would have loved to have seen this in in, in its heyday. In his heyday, yeah, it would have been probably a lot more glossier, mm-hmm. if anything. Yeah, uh, right. What else you got? What else? Well, that's really it for like info. Mm-hmm. But. Yeah, I mean this this kind this type, kind of style broke away from you know European styles, and we got our own American style with this, or at least the beginnings of it. Right. Mm-hmm. Right. Uh, what what else do you think? Um, I think, yeah, I could I definitely see the American style because the early 1900s is when American art really started emerging, mm-hmm. um, and that's probably due to people like um, J P Morgan and whatnot actually purchasing. European art funding bringing it to the U- US mm-hmm. and having American artists kind of see mm-hmm. what to do like seeing the old portraits and, and and masterpieces and kind of taking elements from that and saying all right well what can we do as artists here mm-hmm. um, and I say so expanding upon those ideas exactly expanding okay. upon those ideas or completely dis- in, in this case I think they're actually completely disregarding um, cubism, just, no. Oh, the cubism, yes. Yeah, Definitely, there. there's a cubism there. Well, futurism, I'm not fully, uh, you know, familiar with. What I'm not could... booked on futurism. No. Do you know anything in general? No, not really. Not really. No. Hmm. I guess we got to touch Here. upon that. And we do have to touch up on that. This is what we're doing this for mm-hmm. to keep our minds sharp. Um, but yeah, I like this piece a lot. Now mm-hmm. that you've shown it to me, the rhythm is great because my eye just follows those fives. It's it inadvertently follows those fives. Mm-hmm. Um, and how the, you have these 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 uh, street orbs or whatever they call the street lights, they, everything goes towards the center. Mm-hmm. Um, so it all accentuates it, really. Yeah. Not to mention those lines; they're going diagonals towards the five again. Yeah, everything's going toward that little five, even mm-hmm. the big five. Now, do you see it going inward or do you see it expanding? Because one could see it expanding. I kind of see it going in because of that dark uh, inside of that five there right so I, it kind of makes me think you know going in yeah you're going in but that's me diving in yeah. you know potato potato for most people <laughs> so it might be going after you it might be going for me for now for me it's definitely going in mm-hmm. um yeah now the more i look at it the more i see the cubist mm-hmm. the cubism the uh, i'm looking more uh i can make out you can strip away the things. Oh, yeah, uh, yeah. Deconstruct it. This goes there. This goes like from that. If I took the pieces and laid them on a table, I could recreate what the original scene actually was. Mm-hmm. Um, with a few exceptions, of course. Um, yeah. So, Jacob, I guess Art Bros approved. And <laughs> <laughs> the figure five year old. There you go. Art Bros approved. We like this one. Okay, so uh, you're about, yeah, you're about to promote our other show there. Well, but <laughs> Should we promote? Yeah, why not? All right, people. We also do the Daily Gigabyte podcast and the Daily Gigabyte Facebook page and Tumblr accounts. So go to facebook.com slash the Daily Gigabyte. Catch up on your movie and entertainment news. Yes, and comics. And comics. And also, if you haven't by now, like us and subscribe here on the Art Bros. Okay. Peace. Bye-bye.